What's up guys? CJ here for Kung Fu Night and we're back for some more Attack on Titan. For starters, if you can hit that like button, it really helps the channel grow. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, there's a reaction to the season four intro. If you like that music, if you love your anime intros, there's a reaction to that. But we're here for season four, episode two, Midnight Train. Take the Midnight Train. Someone's going on a journey, maybe. Something like that. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time. I like jumping right into these, so we're going to get into it. And so we shall begin. Get a diversify, man. Figure some other shit out. They, like, that would be wild, bro. A Titan with wings. There be, there, no one will have a chance. Or a sea Titan. <laughs> Wonder Boy? <laughs> oh. You better take another L, man. Come back to our island. Come back to our island. <laughs> so I like Reiner in the back. Um, it looked like Reiner. He does have royal blood, though. As Dina, he's Dina's son. Dina Fritz, right? Right? Oh, they're fucking. They're fucking up those ships. That's what's happening. So if, they're, if they're ships, they have to be in the sea, so Aaron's got to be in the sea fucking these ships up. Armin too, probably. <laughs> this dude has PTSD from that battle of Shingon China, man. Hmm? Called him Galliard. He's, he, he has to be the one that has the mask. Yep, he has Amir's Titan. His brother was the one that originally had it? What? So she's an Eldian too then. They're all Eldians. So they're all Titans then. She's gotta be the... the... the four... She's talking about bipedals? She's gotta be the four-legged quadruped Titan? Can females be quadruped Titans? I thought they all have to be female Titans. But Gabby was already talking about in inheriting the armor Titan, so it's, it can't... it shouldn't be... Gender specific. Yeah. The world's gonna continue to hate. Look at Ryan around here, bro. Gabi. Why do. Wanna hate him. But see how, they, see how they're living, man. They're Eldins. They're oppressed. So, like, can't not empathize. Uh. What? What? Wait, what? He sees the resemblance in just the previous generation. I think he sees correlations between the two. Look how, look how much nicer their train car is compared to everyone else's. Me, me, me. What if all Eldians just team up against Marley? You know what I mean? We're spending a lot of time on this side in the CNN perspective. We gotta be here for a reason, right? Mm. He's thinking about it too, man. That's the thing, bro. They gotta be careful with every single thing that they say, man. He's gonna pull, he could pull Zeke and just fucking tell on your ass and then you'll just ship off to paradise. Actually, what do they do with Titans now, now that they can't ship him off to paradise at this point? Peck, Peck, Galliard, Falco, Colt, Gabby. This is home. Damn, bro. They got them blocked off, sectioned off, man. 
What's up with her crutches? Can she not walk if she stays in the her Titan form too long? They have a limit to how long that they can stay in their Titan forms. <laughs> Shit! This is Gr oh, that's that's Grisha's dad. Oh he oh man. This music though. <laughs> this fucking music. It's almost like a lot of these people might die. <sighs> Fucking asshole, man. Imagine your 11 year old or 12 year old coming home to dinner telling you, yeah, I fucking threw like six grenades, blew up this fucking train car tank thing, had people shot at me, almost died. It's a whole other world in here, man. Are they related? They're Eldians and you're Eldians too though. Yeah, they're just brainwashed, man. They're, they're literally disparaging their own race. <laughs> Lying out here now? It wasn't even half though. <laughs> it was. Don't talk about Shasha like that though, man. Who's that, John? And Aaron. <laughs> what? This dude... This dude, is, this dude really brings a vibe, doesn't he? There's so much hypocrisy and brainwashing here. For them saying like, what the fuck was that? Is, every, is everybody a titan in here? He's titan. Colt, Colt's the only one that's not. Warhammer Titan. Ooh, this is so fucking interesting. Are they spying on them? So they're listening in just to see like who's on board with the plan or who might be a traitor maybe? Was that re that felt like five minutes. Felt like no time at all. Also, y you know shit's all like festival. You know shit's all already gonna be popping off at this festival. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, but something big is gonna happen at that festival. I'll tell you that right now. But okay, so you have the the Tiber family that was introduced, and they ha have control of the Warhammer Titan. I think that's the last Titan that we the it's the only one we haven't seen at this point. And I remember. I remember in the the lore drops where they showed the history of Marley and Grisha and all that and the war of the Titans and all that, the Great War. There was a Titan that had a hammer. So I, I think that I think that is definitely paying homage to that, that's for sure. Um so I think we can name all nine Titans now. There's nine Titans. Founding Titan, Attack Titan, Armor Titan, Colossal Titan, Beast Titan. Cart Titan, Warhammer Titan, Female Titan. What's the last one, man? I'm not looking at these previews either. I'm gonna try this one more time, okay. Warhammer Titan, Attack Titan, Founding Titan, Female Titan, Colossal Titan, Armor Titan, fuck, Card Titan, Jaw Titan, Beast Titan. Is that nine? Did I, did I say something twice? I think that's all of them. I want to be sure. Okay, let's do it this way. We have our three Titans that attacked, and we'll include the Jaw Titan. Okay, right? And and ooh, and on that note, Marcel said, not Marcel, Gilliard. Gilliard said that his brother was Marcel. And he was a part of the original crew that went over to Paradise X amount of years ago to get the Founding Titan the first time. So let's include them in our initial count. So there's four of them, right? 
Then we have Beast Titan, Attack Titan, Founding Titan, Cart Titan, and Warhammer Titan. Yeah, that's that's literally our nine. Okay. So we have this Tiber family who was influential in the Great War they were talking about. I think they said the the uh, the War Warhammer Titan has never left Marleyan soil, has never left to foreign soil. This this Titan's got to be the big bad, man. This this has got to be the biggest baddest Titan. Cuz none of our Titans at this point have a Warhammer? None of these Titans have a weapon. Like none of our existing Titans that that I named have have weapons. You have armor, you have you have hands, and they all have hand, I mean they all punch and they all can harden and stuff, right? But not not no nothing has a sword or a, a um a weapon like this. So this has got to be this has got to be our big bad and this this sounds awesome so far what I'll say. Um slow slow paced episode for sure. We came out strong for episode 1 with some action, but now we're getting a little bit more into some of the more history, some of the maneuverings within the Marleyan organiz Mar the the Marleyan country and the Eldian regiments to become warriors and warriors and all that. Gabby's a war hero. Colt is next in line for the Beast Titan. He's the oldest uh, of our warriors, right? And he should be taking that soon because Zeke only has one year left, so he has to have had the Beast Titan. I think it's 12. He has to have had it for 12 years. If I remember correctly, 13 years is the limit that a bear bearer can have the power of the Titans. Is, is 13 years or, or something like that? To elaborate on that, Aaron originally had eight years at the end of season three. If this is four, this is four years in the future, so time has passed. I thought it was really cool how they were talking about how Aaron and Armin were it's got to be Aaron, Aaron and Armin how they were just they implied it how they were just fucking up all the ships that Marley has sent to paradise because Zeke did his analysis he's like okay if, if there's 32 ships total that's too that's too much just for one person one titan power one titan to take care of so they got to be working together in some kind of way no one returning. That's fun. That's really ominous. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So we're four years in the future here, uh, from the end of season three. We still haven't seen any of our characters, uh, any of our. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, I think so. Uh, I did come across one spoiler in the comments, and someone said that person at the end of uh, episode one was Jean and. Because of that, uh, I'm not looking at the comments ever anymore. I'm, I'm not looking at a single comment from this point forward. Um, I like this show too much just to just to be spoiled for anything. So, you know, hey, uh, th this this is pretty much my Game of Thrones. Fingers fingers fucking crossed. Uh, I was talking about Game of Thrones in the discussion last time, and I'm talking about it here. Um, th this show is my Game of Thrones kind of a thing, where at least with the the, the hype that was there for that. This is this is my equivalent here. Um, I, anyone can die at any point in this show. No, no one is safe, including. <laughs> I mean, our main characters, of course. Um, but with some of our characters that we were just introduced to here, any of these people could die. They're they're humanizing the shit out of every single character here, showing their family, them them breaking bread, them having dinners and such. Look at how happy everybody is. But you know, at some point, shit's gonna pop off, and a lot of these people could die at any point. And and just ooh, a really good scene in this episode was whenever Reiner was talking to Falco. Falco, Falco kind of made that that comment um, where he, I think he was saying he was a little, you know, he he wasn't. It, it was something that Reiner could potentially report him for. It, it was something where he he was talking negatively about uh, their situation in Marley. 
and Reiner was basically like, yo, like, I could fucking report your ass right now. Are, are you are you saying something disrespectful? And, blah, blah, blah. and, and yeah, that's brain, brainwashing in their, their current situation. Um, but I, 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 fi- I find it very... Um, I, I find it hopeful that based on that, that not everyone is, is completely and, and immediately just buying into everything that Marley is... Uh, the situation that they put them in. What I'm trying to say is, I'm glad they're not all just buying into it, and some have some reluctance, or they can kind of think for themselves and realize that they're that that they're being, um, give they're being kind of abused and kind of given the shorthand of the of the stick. This makes me hopeful that. Maybe the Eldians that are here in Marley, with what we're focusing on, can somehow team up with the Eldians um, that are on Paradise. And so, th- but this this starts up a whole another um, another negative scenario where, yeah, cool. Say if all if they're, the Eldians here team up with the Eldians on Paradise, great. But then it, at that point, it's just Eldians against the world. You know what I mean? Whether that's a battle that the Eldians can win, <laughs> I, I don't know. We, we've already seen how the Titan power is kind of, you know, being, um, you know, out, being matched, and it'll eventually get to the point where they're outclassed. But we still have that unknown of the Titans behind the walls, or the Titans within the walls, as well as the founding Titan. If Aaron can somehow, if if four years have passed, so Aaron very well may have like found a way to harness that power of the founding titans. Uh, so whenever shit pops off at some point, like if they come back to paradise, and I don't think I don't know if they come back to paradise and they see that Aaron has um, mastered the attack titan and the founding titan to a whole new lo- a whole new level. Um, Maybe with Historia, because she actually has the, the the royal blood. Ooh, and another see. There's so much to this, and I, I, I've no I've no structure with how I'm discussing this right now. I may just have this be a constant video throughout the whole thing of just ramblings. But on that point of royal blood, in this episode, Zeke was talking about how um, they mentioned royal blood at some point, and I have a hunt. Like I don't think Zeke knows he has royal blood. I don't think he knows that. The only people who would who knew were Dina, of course, the Owl, and Grisha. They're not going to tell the yeah, like they'll, they'll it, at the end of season three. Whenever they did the lore drop, <laughs> lore drop for Zeke and said, "Hey, this is well, they, like the Mar- Marlins are pieces of shit. The Marlins are pieces of shit, and Eldians like we need to fucking rise up," kind of a thing. Zeke snitched on him, but I don't think they came out and said we have the royal blood. That that was that point was never made. So, with that happening with Zeke as a child and him growing up, he would think he's like everyone else, and he would he would also have the belief that the royal bloodline has faded out. So, Zeke has just as much could have just as much control over the founding titan as the story could have, and what Aaron cannot have. You know, I don't know, depending, maybe some unknowns with, like, Aaron and Historia holding hands and having Titan powers. I don't know. Because, because once again, coming, circling back at the end of Season 2, this is, this is how Aaron was able to control the Titans at the end of that season, whenever he punched Dina Fritz's hand. The Titan Dina Fritz, the smiling Titan. That's what triggered it. And it, it looked like it had a lasting effect too, because you'd have to be in constant contact with him the whole time, or with her the whole time, because she was running away, or he was running away, and then he yelled at Reiner and Bertold, and they controlled him again. He wasn't in contact with them at that point. There's so much here. I need to I need to focus on this episode actually. Um. I 
I thought it was fucked up how you had all the Eldians with like um, trauma after spending so much time di- digging the trenches. That dude just like you know made an explosion noise and it freaked them all out. I thought that was super fucked up. Um, and Falco was trying to help them a little bit, or was it Colt? Um. Ooh, actually. And this is the only again I said the only spoiler I, I the only spoiler that I heard of was Jean being in Marley, so maybe our Paradise crew is, is has already uh, kind of come over and they're starting to try to infiltrate Marley. Yeah, again, based on that, like I, I don't I don't y- y'all need to chill out in the comments, real talk. But I, I'm not looking at any comments anymore. Fuck that. This show is way too good. And has way too many twists and surprises to be able to 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 risk having any spoilers. So I'm straight up now. I got the comments. Uh, please like, please continue to like the video because that's going to be my only indicator on whether or not I need to change something with these reactions or if y'all are enjoying them or not. Please like the video um, again if you're still watching at this point and you're here at, during this rambling of a discussion. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, what else for this episode? So yeah, we, yeah, we found out that. The quads titan is Peck, P P I E C K P Piek Peck. We found that out. Um, there was a weird scene where it was like thundering and someone fell off a roof. That was random. I want to go back and look at what the fuck was happening during that. Um, but and I think the last thing I'll talk about because I've rambled enough is uh, I know they were having their dinner. You know, after you know, with Abby, not Abby, Gabby, being like a war hero kind of a thing and saving a lot of lives, Reiner was talking about uh, everyone within the walls and how piece, how much, like how they were such pieces of shit. They're the devils, and again, mass brainwashing across all the Eldians that are still there in Marley, and it, it it's definitely sad. Uh, but I guess what I, what I was getting at is like Reiner is Reiner still has he has it in his head that they were all just shitty and at least the, in the first example he was using he was talking about Sasha and he took it so seriously like um, just one of the most comical moments in season one whenever Sasha was eating the potato and the middle of the commandant's you know introductory speech and everything how she just started eating it and then gave him half gave him half of it he he, he like he took that to like a whole nother level just that that harmless comical <laughs> experience uh into just saying he had she had no regard for him and his well-being or some shit he she didn't even bother to think of him to give him actually half of that potato and he made it in such a dark way in which this is fucking Sasha and this is so this is so Sasha's the most innocent character in this show I want to say uh, so I'll say it at face value I'm, I'm not thinking of everyone of course maybe like I need to think about that in depth maybe fact check it or whatever at least with my feelings see if I think anyone else is more innocent but Sasha is like the, the easily the most likable character in this show but Reiner despite you know his time with Sasha and despite how he fucking was so internally conflicted with how he was killing some of these uh, filthy devils or evil devils, whatever, how he was so conflicted whenever he was over there that he pretty much lost his mind. If they, if they were devils, and you you're, you open the gates, uh, you open you break open the walls, and the, these devils are dying, why why are you struggling so much with it? Uh, I'll I'll ask that. It's because, I mean, I'll say just because deep down, he he doesn't actually think that's the case. He doesn't actually think that they're devils. He, I think he's, since he's in Marley and he's in this role, he's just kind of reiterating everything that he's been geared and brainwashed with into, into learning and all that. Just his, his actions and experiences don't line up with what he's saying. Um, so... Again, that it, it is what it is, and this whole brainwashing thing. But uh, I'm still kind of holding out, holding out for the possibility of Falco um, 
to uh, I don't know Falco Colt and Falco seems like the Falco and Reiner seem like they're the most divergent from the mold of our warriors here. I'm still holding out for that hope that we can bridge something in some kind of way and then maybe get that Eldians against the world mentality but maybe we can win that maybe we can find a middle ground but at at least or minimally we can get Eldians beneath from beneath the foot of Marley pretty much we can say fuck Marley and then have Eldians figure out some shit and maybe work with the world a little bit more but yeah I'm going to leave it at that. I think that's enough ramblings. I'm going to edit this video and get it out ASAP. But once again, if you do enjoy this video, please like it. Um, I'm not looking at the comments anymore. Remember to subscribe so you know when some of the new reactions are coming out for Attack on Titan. I think that's it. There's, there's some Patreon tiers. Check, check that out if you want to support the channel um, and help the channel grow. And I think that's it. So I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace. I